Hello, Bellamy. I must do two last things because things are a little dangerous. You know, say I visit my fourth mother. A tale of L. A fifty minute. L yeah. That took in all fifty goddamn minutes. Well, nearly fifty minutes, but get my point. It was long. Now, now we getting this get back together. How? Well, I'm gonna tell you how TLL came to be because I thought that the interest. I told you some of the concepts that were born early on. So here it is my own retelling of those events. Chapter one. A spill of the L. It's all started quite suddenly. You know one of those times where you just don't know what's going on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you feel like joy. Why I don't have that much? There we are. Right. I read too many of a week. Sign of L. Quite early on. In the process of this. Simply because Sean asked me that what would L even look like, Dixie? Just to see what it's gonna have long hair. Which I would just move out. But this was happening at the about the same time as Bill's Justice. That's where Bunny came from. Bunny. Bunny the Bunny. <laughs> Bunny the Femi. This way. He came from. I Sean liked it so much that he wanted to be in there, so. Which I did do. Just a little bit more saying it. But I definitely never that happy. Oh. He, he did for me. Which was a drawing of A and Teddy in his style. Look at this. Look at this. There's A and Evil. The left. A has a scarf for some reason. And Evil is still just cool. And we got Big and the others who look cartoony as ever. And we got a short version of L and I'm a bunny, you know. All in this. Porter Hoffer's thing. But this gave the idea of using L as else. So Oh, I changed the to look like short. But then I kind of popped into my head. But I didn't know where it came from. It was G. 
Okay. It's the G here. I don't know where it came from. It's just there. Like backwards. It's so it forwards, but you can see it backwards. You can never see it backwards. That up there, backwards. Anyway. You get the idea that that was he, he was still cloaked and mysterious. Yeah, I didn't know where he came from. It just was an idea in my head that I had no idea of. It. This is when John also asked me about good L in a city. Which is kind of weird. So, outlining. So, what I normally do is outline stuff. Like, this is what happens here, this is what happens here, you know. That kind of thing. I normally outline what's going to happen at the start of the season and what I think should happen at the end of the season. Which is kind of hard to do. And to follow up on. But I've learned to not do that. So I need to outline the start to uh, the start. And out at the end of the season near the end. And I always did that when Sean asked me to crew out. So I couldn't kind of think where to put her in season one. And my mind just like oh god isn't working. Like during this time he started talking about his own next generation concert. Short super short to the nation. Thinks he's something after the intro short to the nation. Then it would be a fast <laughs> But yeah, this was the short next next before the short short next next. But that's the cops are changed into that. So, we get it. There. My ideas began emanating from me. Dodge with a bunch of cows. Have the free. Here we go. Bunch, a bunch of cows. So the first thing you would to do okay. is for the cow to do all yours. And I did that. Very early on in that. As you can see, you got both both like sides there for future evil and Zack. But I thought it would also be in this new cat. I got most of the designs down. Because I'd like to think of Caltus. First the counters and then the design. That's I that's the order I normally go. I go for the counters and then do the story. Because you have to piece a story around some counters. 
if you don't have characters, you don't have a story. It's simple logic. So, idea about this cat. So I thought I'd be, it would be a bit dark. And since it was a special, it was a special. Nini, I could make it dark without really impacting the series. So, yay, dark episodes. Talk about dark. And this was most probably shown in the first part by the most gruesome scene ever. Stab through the heart, you're too late. It's a damn, I mean, that scene gruesome. Jesse, there was blood in that scene. And that's what I wish you thought that would happen. It just goes to show that this isn't the same universe. It's completely different and a lot darker. Because I felt I could do that. Now, since this is a different world now. So I can have fun with it and still be very dark about it. It's been 30 years, so yeah. Then again, the future made it a lot easier for me to set these things happen. But, as I kept on doing it, the first two parts, I kept asking myself questions. But I couldn't really answer them. So I had to think about it for a while. Yeah, it took me a while to even do the first two F. So this special. It's because it took me really long to even think of a concept of what would happen. And since I wasn't really in a rush anymore, I took my time with it. I like to take my time with stuff. If I can. So I took my time with it. Figure out what would happen, what is this, what is that. And eventually the first two thoughts were done. But now we move on to part three and four. Four. A birth of five. So. One of the questions I was asking during the time was Who is G? And I kept on thinking this for a while This was hard And I also need to create a power up for L So I thought You know what? One of the power ups was Was a fire flower So I thought Fire And you can actually see Design that eventually came to Ember on this. It's a paper, see? That for Ember. Yeah, even early development, she was still part of my mind. However, I changed it to just show you a fire pattern. I had no use for this, but I changed it into Ember. Just lost whatever this thing is. I guess it was just about the wavy hair. Yet the counter was unique in itself, so he was related. Now, as you can see, Galson hasn't really changed that much. He had some places on him, but his name was Green Elliot at first. But that's a story in itself. Oh. Because Green Elliot was my original concept. Big C, what Green Elliot was supposed to be, was he was Elliot for a different timeline. He somehow got his hands on a 
something that made him like really angry and tried to sort of Susie. I haven't said the letter Susie and made his eyes go from blue to green. And he started killing everyone because of, he was so insanely powerful. He started, he finally got bored of really nothing and moved on to another timeline, this one, and started to kill everyone in that one. That was Pixie the original concept of Green Area, but now it's transformed into this garrison guy. Where does he come from? Where does he go? And why does he want to take over? Well, we don't get that in the first four parts. He kind of runs away in the end because he wasn't expecting Ember to show up. Uh, because Ember is more powerful than him. So, yes, he's very dangerous. And which is one of the things Ellie's worried about. She is very dangerous. So he doesn't want to be responsible for anything happening. I like anything else that he just who Sean just fell in love with Ember. We even draw another picture just to show off the Ember Fall. Look at that. That's another cool one. I could never draw these. But they look so cool. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. But. So. But this time it's just like, what's going on? Is it mine? I'm, I want to keep it open ended, which is why I ended it like that part four. Evil and a sneaky deal behind everyone's backs, but no one knows what the deal is. It's a way to keep information contained and it can seem like it is contained. No one knows about Ember. So you uh, you to not talk about her. It's interesting. Let's see. So this is where it gets interesting. There was also a fire mentioned. That's so I conclude that it was made by Ember to kill Bubba. But would Ember really do that? What if the fire was caused by someone else? See, you can take thoughts in any direction, like that. And a new idea starts for that. This, for example, what if it was someone who wants to, who is angry, wants revenge against Elliot? Yes, but we never met him before. Why he wants revenge against Elliot is unclear. Maybe he was tricked. Maybe there was something else. Or maybe something else entirely. Be this guy would have the same powers ever. For some reason. Why? Hmm. It's just an idea. A concept. At this point. But you could easily start anything from a concept. Anyway, it 
one of my favorite stories to tell about TLF. So, see you time for season two. I will tell you TLL right now. I feel like there's much to work on in this concept. And there's still much to do. So for now, I like the open ending. You can tell the story however you like. You know what I'm out. Dark or gooey, sad or mad. But I will be back to ruin your mind. Devil A, sign me out. Till I get a taste. Still that's the thumbnail.